All right, so we've already looked at trig identities, which were trig equations, um, but those were true for all values. Now we're going to solve just regular equations like we're used to. Those are called conditional trig equations. These actually have solutions, and we can solve them. So we're just going to learn how to solve equations in 4.9. So I, if you're visual, I drew a picture for the first one. Um, we want to find all values where cosine x equals 1 half. And so visually, it should make sense that it happens a lot, right? Because the sine, the cosine function goes up and down forever, so it's going to equal 1 half lots and lots of times. So the way I would do this without the graph is I would sketch the unit circle. When does cosine equal 1 half on the unit circle? Um, pi over 3. Oops. The x value is 1 half, the angle is pi over 3. And then the other option would be down here, which would be, it would be negative pi over 3, or we could go around this way, and that would be 5 pi over 3. And then to get all the solutions, you can go around again. So you can add pi, 2 pi. You can add 4 pi, right? You can add circles. So this is, we get lots of solutions. So x is pi over 3 plus 2 pi k. So this is saying make k circles. And so that would be pi over 3. Um, we make a full circle and we land at 7 pi over 3. We make a full circle and we land here. So we're making a full loop. Um, we also got 5 pi over 3. So let's erase some of this stuff. So we can get to 5 pi over 3 by directly landing on 5 pi over 3, or we could go backwards, which is a circle minus this. We could go around and then add around and around and around, and so we add the 2 pi k. So make k circles. And so k is an integer, meaning it can be like negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So it's just saying we could do circles. The negatives would be going backwards. And so this is how we list all the possible solutions. So this one got a little messy. Um, some of you may have liked the graph. Some of you maybe didn't. But the graph was more to just convince you that there's lots and lots of solutions. I typically don't do the graph. So let's do one without a graph. We want to find when sine x is negative root 2 over 2. So negative root 2 over 2 is down here. We're finding all solutions. And so that would be these two angles. So these are the pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. So the bottom will be 5 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. And we're finding all values. So not just 5 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. I could immediately hit 5 pi over 4. I could go 2 pi and then add 5 pi over 4. I could go 2 pi, 4 pi, and then hit pi over 4. Right, we can go backwards, which would be 2 pi minus pi over 4. So there's, that's where those infinite solutions come from. So x will just be 5 pi over 4, plus however many circles, 2 pi k. And x will be 7 pi over 4, plus 2 pi k, where k is an integer. And so that represents all the different possible ways you could land there. Let's do one more in this video. Um, so they're going to get a little trickier. So there's going to be lots of different techniques, and I think the hardest part is deciding that technique. Um, so watching videos, right, I've already picked the technique for you. So you're going to have to do some practice to get comfortable about which technique to use. So the first example, I'm going to factor because it kind of looks like a quadratic. Um, so I'm going to do this thing called a substitution. It'll make factoring easier. And so I'll let u equal sine of x. So this will be u squared and u. 
So 2u squared minus 3u plus 1 equals 0. And this will just make factoring easier, because factoring with sine is kind of intimidating. So we'll have to be 2u and u, because that's the only way to make 2u squared. And we'll have to do 1 and 1 to make 1. And it looks like they'll have to both be subtraction. So we'll get 2u minus 1 equals 0, and u minus 1 equals 0. And then we'll just back substitute. We'll put the sign back in to solve. So we get 2 of sine x equals minus 1 equals 0. And then we'll also do sine x minus 1 equals 0. So you can factor with sine, but I think it's intimidating. So you can do it if you feel like it. Otherwise, the u sub, the substitution is really nice. So we get sine x, 2 sine x is 1. So sine x is 1 half. Where does sine x equal 1 half? So sine is my y value. So it'll be up on the top. And we get two angles. So I get pi over 6. And then this would have to be 5 pi over 6. And then again, just like before, you can go around, around, around. So we'll add the 2k pi. We get 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. And we still have one more solution. So we have lots of solutions right now. So sine x equals 1. This one's a little faster. Sine, again, is the y value. So sine equals 1 at pi over 2. And again, right, you can go around and around and around. So our final solution is pi over 2 plus 2 pi k. So there are a lot of solutions for this equation. And you could plug a couple in to check. But we get a lot of solutions, and that's okay. All right, I'll see you back for the next video.